I get laughed at a lot because I tell people life is easy and things just flow. I get told that I'm wrong all the time and that everything is so hard. And yesterday was like so awesome. You know, when you've been in like a seven month winter and then the sun finally comes out for real, like all day, that was like a miracle. Like seriously, I know it's logical that it will happen someday, but that was amazing. And uh, <clears throat> it might sound like a little thing, but yesterday I got like a whole big bottle of um, maple syrup and I was just like, oh my gosh, like so grateful, right? Like coming right to my door, came right to me, given with love and it's like fresh, it's like real, it's like just made like last week or the week before from the trees from the land where I was born in Quebec. And, you know, as much as maple syrup might sound like a little thing, like for me, it's like huge. It's like fucking sweetness coming from trees. Like, that's like, I don't even have the words to put around that. That's so like fucking special, right? And I was in like Lottie Doll and I'm just so grateful for that. And it's, you know, I, I wasn't expecting it. It just came to me and within the circumstances of how it came to me, it came to me from somebody that I love that, you know, um, she loves me even if she doesn't understand like three quarters of how I live. And that to me is like unconditional love. And I know that, you know, people will understand what I'm saying is when you're at a certain place and, and you, you know, you're, you're vibing a certain rate and then when you're with other people, how, for me, I, I'm shields down now. <clears throat> I don't shield up. Even if I think or know that I'm walking into a circumstance that everyone around me is not super woke or you know still in 3d mode um i don't judge it or analyze it or think i'm going to be hurt by it at all anymore therefore i am not and that's something that i've trained myself to do instead of looking at others and thinking that they could suck energy out of me or that i could have like a trigger moment and that there could be like shadow work I, I I I've given up that part of thinking for myself and it's changes everything if I do not think that other people are sheep and asleep and if I'm not judging how they are living and how they are acting and what they talk about when I'm with them it's not that I manipulate a conversation, but I do manifest it to be the most elevated vibe it can be, no matter where someone's at in their day, in their, in their, in their mind, in their heart, in their soul. I reach in and grab that piece of them and enjoy it with them instead of being on guard and shielded and thinking that anyone can get to me I, I've let down all my shields and I go into the world or I, I accept people into mine in a way that is just perpetuating like complete amazing conversations and interactions like all the time and today is like a rainy day which okay you know it is what it is and um you know nobody really comes here uh, 
I'm like that house in Practical Magic where people will come if they need something, but otherwise they kind of leave me alone. It's weird. It's kind of nice. And somebody came to knock at the door and it turns out it was like the postal dude. And he's like, I have a really big package for you. Is this your name? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, it's really big. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't know what it could be. Like, I never get anything. Anyways, long story short, uh, I just got a brand new computer delivered right to my door. And I vaguely remember a month or two, two months ago, I filled something out. And when I say I filled something out, I hate filling out forms. So I actually just gave my address with no expectation. I thought it was too good to be true to get a free computer delivered to my door. And uh, turns out it was not too good to be true. I have a brand new fucking computer for me and my kid that was delivered right to my door today. And um, yeah, it's, it is that easy. Half of it is doing the action when it's required and then kind of just forgetting about it. Most of the time is how manifestation happens. Um, if you're sitting there every day thinking like, why hasn't this happened yet? Well, you've just pushed it away. But when you completely forget anything or have no expectations, and my two examples of that is you know, sitting at home and receiving a full bottle of fucking fresh maple syrup and then the next day sitting at home and like, boom, a brand new computer comes to my door that yes, I did an action for it. But when I did the action, I had like no, I wasn't sitting here waiting for it or even thinking it was going to happen. It just, I did it without any If I get it, I get it. If I don't, I don't. It's cool. Yeah, it was cool yesterday with my... my sister at one point she asks what are your what are your plans for the next amount of time basically like what's going on with you and I was like I just don't feel like talking about it out loud with you you'll know when I know and you know a part of me was ready to be bombarded with whatever her thought of being told like basically in your business I'm not talking to you about anything and um, it was cool it was really well received she looked at me and said I can totally respect that and I said uh, uh, for me I, I really it's not that I'm a secret keeper I, I'm so hard on my sleeve and will say anything it has nothing to do with that but I really realized to what point um, unless you're sharing a manifestation goal or dream with someone that you love and that you're manifesting it together, um, most times when you're on an alone path and, you know, you just have to think for yourself, uh, you know, you don't have to have any collaboration with anyone else. It's easier for me anyways, um, to keep my goals to myself or my my next moves why because honestly depending on you know what's going on sometimes it will freak the fucking shit out of people and they're like worried for you and um it pushes the manifestation away and um yeah i thought again i i did consciously manipulate the situation and I used manipulate not in a negative connotation, but I did not want to have any 
Um, I didn't want feedback from her and I didn't want to talk about myself and what I'm seeing or, or what's next for me, you know? And, um, I thought it was cool that I, I, I manifested, I didn't want for there to be some sort of yuckiness and it was well received so much so that you know like boom talking about other stuff and high elevated vibe even if I didn't choose to open my heart to, to someone who wanted that piece of me in the moment that was respected that I, I, I chose not to share how can you tell your sister I have no fucking clue where I'm gonna be in three weeks <laughs> you know she's a planner like fuck she would go batshit anyways have a good day